Hi, welcome back to section 10.6. Uh, we left off with example three, so we're gonna start off there. In example three, we have cube roots instead of square roots, but this one won't be nearly as bad as the last one that we just did. Uh, we've got the cube root of 2x plus 7 equals the cube root of 3x minus 2. This one actually should be pretty pleasant because both cube roots are already by themselves. So the opposite of cube rooting is cubing, is raising it to the third power. And that third power, you know, the exponent of a 3 and that cube root, they're just going to undo each other. So you're just going to get 2x plus 7 on this side, and it's going to do the same thing on the other side. You're just going to get 3x minus 2. And so that's really pleasant when it's set up this way. Uh, so everything's just going to cancel out nicely. It's a nice little linear equation. Uh, so, and I know that because I just have x's. I don't have x squareds this time, which is wonderful. Uh, so from here, I'm just going to get the x's together. I'll just subtract 2x from both sides. I'll get 7 equals x minus 2. And then I'll add 2 to both sides just to get the x by itself. And I'm going to get 9 equals x. Uh, like everything else that we've done today, we should definitely check our answer and make sure that it works. So let's see, the cube root of... 2x plus 7, I would do 2 times 9, which would be 18. And then I'm going to add 7 to it, which would give me the cube root of 25 on this side. On the other side, with the cube root of 3x minus 2, I'm going to do 3 times my x, which is 9. So 3 times 9 is 27 minus 2. And 27 minus 2 would also be 25. So I've got the cube root of 25 equals the cube root of 25. That's perfect and 9 equals x equal is going to be our answer for this one. Now it's your all's turn. You get to try one and show me how much you've learned.